In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome sliding text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we want to begin by creating a brand new title. And in order to do so, we need to go into File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this menu. And inside of the legacy title window, you just want to press on the black video anywhere. It doesn't matter. And just type out a word of your choice. Now, once you've typed out that word, you just want to change the font size. You want to change the weight, the color, the font, just change all of the different settings inside of this window. And once you're done editing all of those, you want to center this up using these two center buttons. Now, we'll exit the Legacy Title window and we'll drag this title onto Video Layer 1. From here, you want to go ahead and create a brand new black video. So we'll go to New Item and Black Video. Press OK on Black Video and we'll pull this onto Video Layer 2. Drag this all the way over to the right to match the end of Title 3. Now we'll go into Effects, search for Tint and we'll drop tint onto the black video that we just dropped onto video layer two. And in the tint, we want to map the black to a specific color of your choice. This needs to be really bright. So I'm gonna go with bright yellow. Press okay on that. And then in motion, you want to go up to scale. You want to deselect uniform scale. You want to change scale width to one. And you want to pull this all the way to the very edge of the word. Now from here, you want to go ahead and you want to make a duplicate copy of that black video. So holding on to black video, you want to hold option on the keyboard and drag that up to video layer three. Now we'll drag the video on video layer three all the way over to the right to match the very end of the text. So we should have the text and two lines, one at the start of one and at the end. Now from here, we'll go to title three. So that is the title that we created. And we'll go one second to the right create a brand new keyframe on position, and then we'll go five keyframes to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll pull the position all the way to the left and making sure this is outside of that yellow box. Now, when we play this back, the word comes in to the box. But it was a little bit too fast for my liking, so I want to increase the gap between those keyframes. So I'll pull the first keyframe over to the left, and if we play this back, that is a bit better, but the animation is a bit aggressive, so I'm going to smooth this out. Select both of those keyframes, right click on one, temporal interpolation, ease in. Now we'll hold maybe two seconds. We'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Go forward, so we'll go right, maybe 10 keyframes, and pull this all the way to the right. So this should now be outside that yellow line. Now from here, we need to go ahead and create a mask around the word. So we'll go into opacity, making sure the title layer is selected and select the rectangle mask option. Now we'll pull the edge of the mask all the way up to that yellow line. We'll select those two points on the right of the mask, pull that over to the second yellow line. Then you want to go all the way up to the second keyframe that is around here. Create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Go to the first keyframe. And then you want to change the position of this mask to where it just was. So this should now be sitting on those two yellow lines again. Now it's really important that this mask sits on those two yellow lines for the entire duration of the animation. So if for some reason this wanders out, just update the position. Make sure that this mask isn't moving anywhere. You can't afford for this to drift off because it will ruin the effect. So make sure that the mask is perfectly sitting on those two yellow lines. Now we're gonna repeat that same process for the out. So we'll go to the third keyframe on position, create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. We'll go to the fourth keyframe on position and we're just gonna move the mask back over to the yellow lines. Now, like we did before for the intro, you just want to make sure that this mask isn't drifting anywhere. And if it is drifting, you just want to pull this back onto those yellow lines. Now, as soon as you've done that, we're just gonna to go to the very beginning and we'll play this back. And as you can see, the word comes in, holds for a second, and then the word disappears. 
Of course, the yellow lines aren't part of the effect. We're just using those as reference for the mask. So we can now go ahead and we can delete those yellow lines to delete those two black videos. And if we play this back, the word slides in, holds for a second and slides back out. And there you go. That is how you do the slide in and slide out text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, then please do consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.